my brother, my love. I'm so proud of you. So you're on your way to Texas. And this right. is part of the Horseman Tour. Yes, let us yeah. take a look at that. Tell, talk about where you've been. I mean, I think I saw you on Adam 22. Oh, yeah. I saw, I saw you. Oh, you saw, and you synced it? I it, you know. I mm. like him. He reminds me of Vlad, but right. I don't know. Like, <laughs> I felt some kind of way about him giving out names. You know, he, it's like well, he, wait, what names was he giving out? Names of different individuals whose names didn't need to be mentioned because number one, it happened years and years and years ago. We wait, all know. Happened? Number two, we all know what happened. Number three, you know, it feels oh, to me right. like I know he he's a fan. I could tell he loves me. I love you too, Adam. But I do feel like he doesn't have a heart for us. Like, I feel like he'll put us under the bus for the story. He tried, but that ain't work with Gotti. I know, <laughs> but, but he threw that, that name that. out there. Yeah. We did not throw out on purpose. But what hurt me most is he had a look on his face like, yeah, I just dropped a hot name. I just gave y'all a, a scoop of the year. And I'm like, really, dude? <laughs> <laughs> Paula didn't like that, Adam. No, I didn't yes, like, I like that, that, Adam. No names. But I did like that you showed my brother so much love. And I loved how you carried yourself on the show. Yeah, he, didn't, he, didn't he, love. Yeah, he didn't come. And I, you know, Adam didn't come crazy with me. He gave me a good one. No, you you came crazy with him a couple times. You I let him have it. Like, that. don't be trying to put Tupac in the ring with, you know. Uh, what? Mike what Tyson, <laughs> Muhammad Ali. <laughs> I'm just saying though. No. I know. I didn't. I didn't go. I didn't. Did I? No, but you. You were. Um. You were defending the game. You know, and hip hop, and you know, I, I. I'm guilty of doing it a lot as well. Comparing, you know, different artists coming up with the legends, but you just didn't see. Extension and Tupac, and you wanted him to explain it, and you didn't get it. And I do applaud that. And you know, I, I enjoyed it. I enjoyed that conversation. So where else can we? Oh, that's what I, I I forgot. Why you don't mention your own podcast on these people's podcasts? Yeah, I, I did. Are you embarrassed of us? I did. Do we embarrass you? I did. How do you I, feel about I, I that? Did, I did. I did mention us. Did, Derek, did you hear him mention us? I Not on Adam. I mean, once he got on Tupac, comparing him to somebody else, you know, the Marvels got crossed. I know you. Okay. I, I'm just saying. I, I'm just saying. On my, on my interviews, I let him know because we I, are a good podcast, luck. I bring up no priest got a podcast. I bring up his. Then the, I bring up mine. And Derek, so I got my own podcast. Represent you, lovely. Rough form. I just did one today with a uh, Be Easy Shade Forty Five. Cause we could use some of them Adam Twenty Two views, y'all. We could definitely use. Yeah, Adam, you know, after the Tupac talk, you know. <laughs> what I love. Bobulator, boobulator. Ah, Pac sat down with Adam. <laughs> uh, oh, oh, you after he I'll, mentioned Tupac. Yeah, yeah I, was, I was about yeah, to I, say Pac sat down with I Adam, but I said it nicely, people. like Pac sat down with Adam. Well, you know, I was like, I don't I know, just saying, in my though, mind. You know, but yeah, coffee. but you know, that's love. I I love that that you did his show because he's young and he's he's a fan, you know. And to me, you'll get a lot of viewers viewership, a lot of people going out. And, 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 he's, and but, he's, you know, he's a good man too. He showed me love. I can't lie. Showed I show him love for that. Um, Derek and I, I we just we feel like the ugly stepsisters and Cinderella oh. go to the ball and she forget about <laughs> us. You know, Derek. I'm just you, saying. You, yes. hey, Derek, you feel yes, like sir. you feel like a sister. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't know yeah, that. But like, Yo. <laughs> I, I didn't know that though. How does, how does it feel? Why you gotta be how always up here? The road again? Why you always gotta take it up here? My God! I love you, Paulie. Goodness Paula. Me. I 
I miss him. I thought going to go back on the road again. He's going back now. He's yep. leaving us at nine. So we've got some um, writers, like we promised, because Very excited we're not you. playing with the world. And we want you guys to help us because it's because of you. What, what is the name of this show, y'all? This is The Forum. I'm Paula J. This is and Corrupt and because Nappy. this is for you. So this is for them, Paula. Yeah, but you, you want to say who our little brother is down here? <laughs> and of course, this is Derek. We call him Frequency because he's everywhere. <laughs> oh, yeah. Ain't no telling what city he'll be. Whenever he chime in, ain't no telling where he at. Yeah, we played a game. Yeah. We I'm like, home to the Where's Frequency? Yeah. Where's Frequency at? Frequency, what's right. cracking? Where you at now? I'm home. So oh, where are you about to be at, Corrupt? Where are you going in an hour? Well, I'm going where are you and Lily? Uh, Where's my beautiful sister? I'm going to Brazil. I'm going to San Paula. Uh, Paula. Paula. Jam. Who? Right. See, that was a uh, Mellow Dam. Yeah, Jam. Jam. Oh. Yeah, that was a. Uh, that was a. Uh, uh, you going to Jamaica? That was James Brown. Oh. Yeah, when they was interviewing James Brown, I felt like James Brown for a second. Where you going, James? Oh, I'm going to San Paulo. Uh -huh. well, I'm going hey, to uh, I fall jam. For it every time, y'all. <laughs> that was just saying. We're going to San Antonio, Horseman okay. on the road, San Antonio. Hi, Gordon. Dallas. Hi. Lee, Lee, you Lee, have Lee, Lee. She you got have the heat. Oh, 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 go ahead. San Antonio. Dallas. Lily going to be with me. She got the heater. We go on to San Antonio. Thank you. And then Sunday, we go to oh, Riverside. California right. and do a show and then hop back on a plane back to Texas, but to right. Dallas to yep. do a show. And then Won't we come do home. it. Won't yep, Riverside, Lily. my brother draws. See, no, y'all yeah. need to yeah. understand for all of y'all who don't Put get it, out. this is what a successful man has standing beside him. Not nobody trying to fight him for clickbait. Not nobody bringing up dumb stuff that has, but someone who wants to win with and for my brother. Which is why I can only pop in and out briefly because I have to either pass Honey, or- I love you so much. You do what you have to do. You are my hero. And we got to keep up in this mug too. Oh so, yeah. We are you. we are family. <laughs> yeah. 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 Hey. Okay, so what was the Isla place that he went to last week? He was like, I'm going somewhere by Riverside, Isla Hala. We were like Alhambra. Yeah. Uh uh. Yeah. It was. It was called, it was called uh, Oh Adelanto. Adelanto. Oh, yeah, it's by Victorville. Honey, I'm sorry. I I I, I understand now. Yeah. You can't say what he said. Ali, 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 and I always get it confused with like Ali 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 Oxen. What say it for us again? Where were you? Are Adelanto. you doing Coachella this year? Adelanto. Adelanto. What are you asking, D? Are you doing Coachella this year? Probably not. Are you doing it? Wait, doing. hold up. I thought I was supposed to be going to the BETs, Derek. Ooh. Yeah, Derek, what happened with the that? The BETs two no. weeks ago. Yeah. No, no. Only reason why I ain't called nobody because they said you had to be vaccinated. She was, you see the patch on her arm. No, no, I'm just saying, you know, and she they she wasn't letting a lot of people in this year. So. She was vaccinated in 1984. Thank you. <laughs> when I was born. This is where you need the outer space background behind you right now so you can float away again. Yeah, <laughs> this one, yeah. I just have to call you out because I don't it's want to call thinking that I was all like, I'm going to be at the BETs. No, if y'all no, go no. back that, and rewind the episode. No, no, no. Brother Let me man. explain. Right. Let me explain. Let me explain. Oh, shit. What it was. I wasn't vaccinated at the time. So the I, party, I, I, yeah. I just love. I get they it. Wasn't vaccinated and they wasn't and letting a lot of people in. That's why y'all see the little heart. She, she vaccinated. Eric, when you get vaccinated. 
I did. He was born. So how'd you get in, oh. motherfucker? He didn't I go didn't no go. Care. Oh, he didn't go. Oh, because you had to be vaccinated. I heard yeah. about it. Somebody was saying it was put that definitely. band-aid on that Paula got cousins. You like look cousin. <laughs> I don't know. Hey, they want to check the card. They want to check the card and everything. What I card? Got my card. Got a card? And I got my yeah. son's card. If anybody need a card, you know, I'm Where's selling cards. Card, card? Got a card, got a card, card. See, that's gonna be what new people was gonna be on the block. Somebody gonna be on the block like got cards, got back cards, got back cards. Even though they got cards, they already got them. <laughs> <laughs> okay, what time is it? Cause I really want my honey. Oh, so tell me how your shows have been going, corrupt. Before we let anybody in, I want to get into your head. Um, are you doing your stuff, or or are you and the Horsemen performing as a collective on these um, on this tour? We perform as a collective, and we give them all of our hits from our individual careers. Oh wow! And we give them, you know. So are you all on stage, stage at the same time? Oh yeah. So there's no point where you just get your own little 15 minutes, your Bobby Brown moment, or corrupt moment. With all of us on the stage, it ain't nothing but a party. You uh, so I they just that. step We're back. Got, the I got to have nice. everybody on the stage having fun with me. You got Priest, you got Raz, I got the mic. Yeah. Turn, so do they the fill in the gaps, like all for that. Snoop and, oh, wow. Oh, no, 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 they don't do that to oh, crowd, though. Oh. Oh, the crowd, the crowd oh. does. Oh. Hello. I mean, from the door. <laughs> the, the I mean, you know, it's just be like Snoop is there. I mean, hello. hello. It's like hologram. Can I say That's iconic? Can I, say I, got the, I got the Snoop Dogg hologram. Okay. Are you? Do you really? Yes. Once I play the record, it's like Snoop's there. It's the hologram. They see okay. him. Okay. Well. They, oh, my God, Snoop. They start rap when. Okay. You got holograms. Right. I, I promise you, Coachella will call. I promise oh, you. I mean, I'm putting it into the universe right now. If they don't, Lily gonna call them. What? Because you got holograms. Forget that. Snoop can come. Snoop can be a right. special guest at one of these no, horsemen. There, I will be there. Dude, no, they got the four horsemen of the apocalypse. Right. And Snoop can be no, I'm just playing. Don't be, don't, don't, don't y'all be trying to act like I'm being sacrilegious. I'm not. Right. Well. When y'all come to Vegas, Jesus. corrupt. Huh? When we come to well, Vegas, yeah. He in Vegas right now. Oh no, Ooh, real soon. Right when you coming to want... LA? Yeah. You know uh, we doing a live show, um, with the guys that one of them expect to get on a track with you. Which so one? You got to make time. I don't know. You got to pick the one. Seems to me like oh, you right, might go one. for so, Dylan to the one, the Young one that Corey I already picked the one, the one that won. Yeah, Corey Gatlin. Paula Gatton. was off then, huh? No, Paula was on the one that, that won. Young Corey Gatlin. Yeah, that was Corey. And Corey Gatlin. Right. Right. Corey like. Gatlin Gotti. <laughs> well, how you gonna give him your last name now? <laughs> because we a gang, nigga, the Gotti gang. Part of your crew. Tiny Gotti. I love it. Gotti. You are, are crowned so Gotti. Like Corey Gatlin off. Gotti. Like Lee Snoop. Lee Gotti, Paula J Gotti, Frequency Gotti, we Paula everywhere. J. Gotti. Paula J Gotti. <laughs> with that hat on, that's Paula J Gotti right there. Oh, yeah. The other, <laughs> other look you got, that's Paula J Parker. But this look you got, that's Paula J Gotti, vaccinated. It's been in a vaccinated. It's been in a, it's vaccinated it's God. I'm trying to get it cute now. It's got a little dust on it. It's been in the drawer for oh, a minute. You can't see it. The dust oh. is matching. Hey, look! Hey, look! That's her, that's her name. That's her name, Derek. I love my brother. It's going to be vaccinated, okay. Gotti. <laughs> vaccinated, Gotti. You know what? Somebody around here had to be mature. Oh, and oh now the it's maturity. I'm not gonna die. I have a child. <laughs> oh. Corrupt. I see. This is why I wasn't even. Gonna, I tried to tell you last week, but you brought up. Our boy Bill Cosby. I said, yes, that's a better topic. Thank you, my baby. So I let ride. He, he is up. <laughs> Nobody knew. Hey, uh, hey, 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 think about how she gonna tell everybody. Damn. Well, they don't call me flip flop for nothing. 
Oprah. Hey, you know what? You flip flop and get back. Oprah, Oprah. Hey, that's not flip flopping, goddamn. Hey, look, that's not flip flopping. Oprah, she didn't actually call. You know what I'm saying? That's not flip flopping. When, 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 okay. when Oprah calls, when Oprah calls, okay. When Oprah. You got the fucking right. When dog calls, the dog what? says, you get that back. You get back this dog I'm in going, the back. I'm going straight there. Woo. Come on, He's not going up. straight there. The champ, the, the champ, the back. champ. Here. The champ <laughs> said, get back to me because okay, I got to get. Yeah, that's not. That's I'm going to close my eyes. It's like, uh, it's, it's like a personal question nowadays. Did you get the back? It's like none of your damn business because it's like some of us have it. You better use my language. Hell no. No, 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 They came to me. They said, corrupt, you need to get okay. vaccinated. Now, we I have said, one hell no, because I ain't going to do it. <laughs> Next thing you know, they came to me and said, I can't go on tour. I said, fuck you and your whore. Oh, I said, hell no, to the no, 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 unless dog or Oprah call. Right. Jamie, baby. Hey, I guarantee what's up, what's up? if nice. Oprah does a public service announcement, all of y'all will go get your back. Because come on, Oprah, you made me do it. I like Oprah calls. No, there's, di there's a difference. See, Blue, day. say hi, Blue. Hi, she's swimming. She's swimming. Okay, everyone. Oh. Hey, look, I know we hey, I'll be honest. Know if Oprah put out. out the service announcement, if Oprah put the service announcement out, I wouldn't get it. She you called me personally. Oh, yeah. I'm getting See, that's the difference. Yeah, a personal is. call from your boss, like, uh, game you want to come back? Uh, hint, hint. Shit. Oprah say, corrupt. You need to get the vaccination. You get the you vaccination? Damn right. I'm going tomorrow. So I get a pass. I, I get a pass, y'all. You motherfucking right. <laughs> Oprah hit you. God damn it. So you I told you Oprah I'm corrupt that if yeah. I die, I am going to haunt her. <laughs> You're not going to die. Oprah said it. You don't die when, when you get the game from Oprah. Don't you see Tyler Perry, nigga? Mm -hmm. He gave him the game. Look where he is right now. Mm -hmm. Tyler Perry won. What? Man, look. He ain't called. What? Call. Oprah. Tyler Perry ain't okay, called. Tyler. He ain't called. You get the vaccination. There's going to be a pandemic coming soon. And but then I'll give you your own lane. He said, you damn right. He got vaccinated, had his own lane, and then the pandemic hit. He was like, you was right, Oprah. Oprah. Yeah. Oprah. Oprah Winfrey. She says, yeah, I tried to tell you, boy, I always keep up on it. Then she called you. Get the vaccination, child. You was like, I already, I'll, I'm getting it tomorrow. I was like, tomorrow. <laughs> How you know? I know. That's How you know me? Because it's Oprah Winfrey. I I said, it was girl. a Sunday. <laughs> I said, okay, I'll call tomorrow on Fantasy CBS. Shit, you better than me. I'll be like, I'm, I already made the appointment for the Y'all, it ain't hard to do. You understand me? Snoop called. It's all real. Hey, nephew, nephew. Don't Jamie, later, corrupt. Will you at least it. introduce our phenomenal guest? Now, if you guys are avid watchers, you know that corrupt and I are flipping the forum into a sitcom. And the okay. only person that I know that knows how to do the dang on thing. Oh yeah. Like I'm the flipping is my boy, gold Olympic winner. Right of the century. Oh yeah. Jamie Mito. Jamie, I mean Jamie Gotti. <laughs> you you just Corrupt. got inducted as well. You're you're a Gotti now. Corrupt I, young Gotti and Jamie that's the Gotti fact in the building. That you came on the show. You're you're I'm excited you're right now because it's gonna be so pilot. big because Jamie plays no games. It's gonna be so big. He knows what to put that pin to and how to do it. He knows how to make it right. Very excited. Now, I don't know if you all got a chance to hear. Here we go. I was, how was I? You know what? You, you hey. know what? I put my hey. baby. You know what? Cassandra's not here. So hey. I'm not <laughs> Please introduce oh. yourself. I was right about to talk. You know what? Hey. Okay. <laughs> yeah. 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 He said, yeah. Wait for TV too. Okay, okay. <laughs> so, first thing I have to say now, okay, let's introduce Ooh. ourselves. 
let everybody know we have another gold Olympic track medalist right here with right. us, Jamie's beautiful wife and the baby. What did we what name the baby? Jaysha. Jaysha. What did Jay. we name the baby? Good job. <laughs> we the baby Jay. Good job, Paul. Jaysha. Jamie I and Shalom. Can I say Jay, please? Yes. Jamie. Yes, you can. You I'm can. Jay too. Hey, don't trip. My 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 niece's name is Zayalani, but I always throw the corrupt in it. I call it Kayalani. Uh -huh. It's Zayalani. I know it is, but just corrupt's niece. She's Kayalani. Kayalani. Okay, so <laughs> mess the kid all up. She'll be talking about my name, Kayalani, mess her name up and everything. <laughs> oh, also, I want us all to give a congratulations to the first African American, the first black woman, uh -huh. and she's a child uh -huh. to win the National Spelling Bee. Hello! Hey! Hello! Boys, what's her name? On. What's her name, Corrupt? Say her name and give a fame. Good question. Because, you know, I'm I was, about I was to ask so her about, that she won. about it all the time, girl, but I kept Shikari, basking it. Shikari Richardson. <laughs> Shikari Please. Richardson. Okay. Let's Shout talk, out to Shikari let's start, Richardson. Let's start I, off sure. with the no, fact exactly. that I'm not just asking nobody off the street what you do. No, her, name, her, name is, her name is Zalia Avant. Zalia Avant? You what I want. Hey. Avant. Tell her. Keep the spelling bee. OK. Yay, Zalia. We love you, baby. Represent. Yeah. We love you to death. Good job. Akili Jr. Yay, Akili. <laughs> <laughs> huh? You think Auntie's funny. Right. Huh? <laughs> love Auntie. Yes, I know you do. You want the kisses. I know you do. <laughs> I know, 20. Okay, let mommy tell us what she thinks about Shakira. Now, yes. Think about Shakira, Shakira. First, let's talk about um, you being an Olympic track, Olympic track winner. First, what year did you place in gold? So, so one, I competed for uh, Jamaica, and I run the 400 hurdles for Jamaica. I, I competed in 2004 and the 2008 Olympic Games. I went to 2012 to perform and ran in three world championship games. In China, China. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. So you yeah. were a part of that big spectacle. Yes, yes. How was that in person? Because on television, it was like the most beautiful thing I'd ever witnessed at that time. Right, right, right. No, it was pretty amazing. I mean, um, it's just every athlete's dream, you know, to be at the Olympic Games and be surrounded by athletes from all over the world. And you know that if you're at the Olympic Games, you're one of the best in the world. So to compete with the best in the world, it's a, it's a great honor. And, and yes, it does look a lot faster when you're sitting on the side <laughs> of, of the track. Oh, and how many blunts games. did you smoke? <laughs> None, you know, no, no, no. You know, you can't smoke. Um, you know, when we're there. In her defense, I think um, she did say her mother had recently passed away. And yeah, she did her, say that. You know, yeah. how we all cope with something as tragic and um, final as death. You know, I'm not judging. I'm just saying, you know, right. I'm I mean, supposed to be um, skinny and I eat what I want to eat. You know, as an actress, when you have a job that says you're supposed to live a certain way, one would think, yeah, I mean, I mean, on that situation, um, as as um, athletes, um, you know, we 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 have many friends and uh, that are athletes that competed and have lost family members and lost and had very tragic situations happen to them during our career. It's very tough. It's very challenging. So, I mean, one of my friends, Brianna Rollins. McNeil, she's in a similar case, but she was hit with a five year ban and um, her brother died the week before oh, wow. her younger brother. So we uh, we definitely understand when there's loss and tragic in right. incidents that happen in our life because it, they just oh, happen. Do you that think the that might have been why they were a little more lenient with her? No, I think 
think because it, you know, they say it was weed. I think because they say it was weed, you know, she was hit with one month, which I think that's pretty, uh, that's that's not bad. It's just that's what I thought it was nice. It's, it's not, it's, yeah. yeah, it's not bad in which the, um, you know, one month. Wait, 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 it's just wait, 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 at the wrong so time. What did because, they do? What did they yeah. do to Michael? Well, Michael Phelps tested positive after, after the Olympic Games. So right. he was outside he of already, competition. Right. He, he already competed. He had already walked the Olympic Games. You got to. It ain't like he just started smoking after the right. Olympic but, but, so he but, was, well, he yeah, was no. celebrating at a party. Yeah, no, yeah. yeah, see, the thing is, you can smoke out of competition. Right. So you, you can smoke. Competition. Yeah, you can smoke before season. Were, you can smoke They were just heartbroken. Like, or <laughs> our magic... Fish. Yeah, you can't. Yeah, you just can't smoke during season. Right. Oh, during season. Yeah, yeah during so, season. So they, have, they, have, they have in competition oh. and out of competition. So right. If you get tested in competition, yeah, what about then Michael Phelps? Right. That was outside competition. No, 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 no. We know. No, no Michael Phelps. Okay, we know the real. Check this out. We know the real. See, if I was the GA in this case, Michael Phelps would get. Look, 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 look. You did not <laughs> start smoking after the whoop box. He passed the right. test. Okay? You passed the test? Huh? He passed all his tests? He did great. Okay? I could buy a test. I tell you that much. How you think people on parole can smoke some drugs and not get busted? You can look it up on Google. Right, right, right. 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 The thing, you can drink she all of that. That's the problem. Busted. Now, see, you're right. <laughs> he didn't get busted. He got busted. She got to ride it out. Okay, you're right. You're absolutely correct. Yeah, okay. yeah. She, she. So yeah, you're she's saying got... corrupt that it's a double standard. You, no, your it's perception. Not. She's correct. She, she, the bottom line is, right. She didn't get busted during right. the season. She during got busted season. during. Season. And keep in mind, <laughs> he already accomplished his goal. He so brought look, home the you goal. You need yeah. to call your local homie when you want to smoke during the season. Call your local homie. We got the, we got the <laughs> liquid. We got the hookup. You add it into your soup. Add it into your bisque. So you can't no, 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 you can't. It is something. <laughs> thank you. It yeah, really is something that, 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 that you can. Because you're going to have people drinking yeah, vinegar. See, I'm, the bad, I'm the bad uncle. See, I'm the bad uncle. <laughs> it's going to be people drinking vinegar and carrying I'm that old man. I'm that old man from, from Tyler Perry show <laughs> and the old man from uh, the the Nutty Professor. I don't know what you're talking about. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Just a little dibble, just a little dab. You'll so, be right. In essence, what you're saying, Siobhan, is that you think she could have used a little more restraint. Um, as disciplined as you all are in your training. Right. Before, you yes, no. before you answer that, though, before you answer that, how old is she? She's a baby. Well, what restraint can you have when you're a baby? I That's think the thing it's about fear. childhood success. I think you it's know, fear. Childhood twenty one puts you around a bunch of different things that you would normally not be around. But you have to have known that. Yes. Yeah. No. Yeah. No. We. Right. We definitely. Yeah. We. It's self sabotage. Yeah. Well, which child yeah. do you know that's a star that didn't self sabotage from themselves? If they well, yeah, parents, no, see, if they have parents like I Joe Jackson, they were I mean, you so need a Joe success. Jackson in your life. Look, you need a Joe so Jackson fast. in your life, or you need Beyonce's father in your life. Right. Right. If you ain't real. got no Joe Jackson or no Beyonce's right. father, man, you fucked. Yes. So she's a child. You the so child fast. made a mistake. She made a mistake. Okay, so she got to pay. Like, she got to yeah, pay. She, 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 yeah, she, she got one month, which is a uh, very lenient. So she did get a Ooh. month. It's just at the wrong time and 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 as i said before we we know many athletes that have lost mothers fathers grandmothers sisters brothers during major championship times as well but they have to make the decision of am i going to do What's more this important. or um it, it's just a sacrifice so she knew what she was doing <laughs> i'm gonna say again how old was she how she, old she was she you just said she was young but how old young but but but, but she's 21 <laughs> She's so 21. she's 21. Now, yeah. I don't want to make you uh, an excuse for the child. Yeah. I don't know any 21-year-olds that make the right decision without good guidance. Yes, and yeah. if her mom and, and the ones that away, do make the right the decision, guidance. ones that can do it on their own, I call them rare. Right, right. Rarity. Right. 
Now she might be rare on how good she is, but she's definitely not rare on decision making. Okay, she's but, normal, and she's going to make bad decisions. And I tell you this, like I tell all the young. And I genuinely it's about believe the company that's you why. Keep. No, it's right. about the company you keep, and it's right. also about the parents. Right. Okay? Y'all know she came from a single y'all know parent she's household. The devil's grass. No. You got to be on their heels. They need Sorry? that. Was it just got, her mom? Was it, it just was, this is her biological mom. mom? So she wasn't raised by her. She, she this was a biological mom that she had. Right. So hmm. what can she tell her when she's grown? She's twenty one right, years right. old. We call them we, grown. It's grown by the law, but in reality, yeah. we all know they still have the youthful mentality. Yeah. And what's right. the youthful mentality based off of? I can get away with anything. I think mm. I can get away. Everybody always want to beat the system. When you're young, you feel you can do that. Invincible. Right. And, that, and, that, and, that, and, and that's, that's why that, that happens. Be, yeah, that's and why that happens. Somebody. Because she thought she can out it's just like, you know, you smoke you. and you go drive a car. But you know, I think someone, I think, will you I grab think this you. girl and, and yeah. wrap her in your loving arms? She needs a mentor. You know, she needs someone yeah. like you yeah. who will genuinely love her through the pain. Because it's not easy at the top, as you know. And now, you know, she's getting all kinds of, because of the internet, all kinds of press that you didn't get. You know, you right. you were secluded from all the bombardment. You know, I she's got blue hair. She's fly. She's young. She's hip. You know, she needs an earth mother. So, now, you know, you know well, say this. I will say this, though. She got to be willing to listen. That's another yeah. thing about the youth. They don't That's the biggest thing. Yeah, you, you know. She, has, she does She does have, you know, she has a coach. She has, she has a coach, she has her. a manager. Mean, coach she has and coach manager and coach. She, I know y'all are not comparing a, a manager and a coach. She, she won't listen to a parent. Or a mentor. Or, no, I'm gonna tell you like this, cause I'm a parent and you're a parent too. <laughs> but I'm gonna tell you this about these youth. They will tell their best friend everything. They will never tell their parents. They That's will true. listen to their big homie and mm -hmm. won't listen to a thing their parents say. They say, oh, you old, you don't know what you're talking about. Thank because you. these kids nowadays are raised, they're not raised like Help us. My mama would put her foot so yeah. far up my ass and grab her <laughs> food stick and whoop the shit out of me. And I was afraid to mess right. up. So fear right. was a part of yes. why I Your kept God. my ass clean. Because yeah. I didn't right. want to get my ass, I feared my mama more than the police. Yeah, right. you know. But these the, kids nowadays, who do they fear? What do yeah. they mind? Who do you mind? Yeah. That so, really matters. The, the Olympics, and they got to listen, okay. like you said. Yeah, the Olympics is a very, very rare and, and, and amazing opportunity for someone to have and be able to make to make that Olympic team. Right, right. And, and at the end of the day, really? I made my first Olympic team at like 20 years old. So when you are faced with something that you appreciate, it's very, very hard to yes. achieve you know it's just one of those moments where you just have to take advantage of that moment you have to keep your head in the game because everybody you're else's doing it just head you you're right. now, you know now you know i'm a psychologist you know i'm a, you know I'm a psychologist by nature on, right but now you know not. i'm a psychologist by nature i'm a psychologist by nature uh -huh. and a lawyer by trade now the psychologist to me is going to take Keisha. over real quick okay, right now paula made the point and this is this is great because paula made the point it's great to tell us, but you need to tell that girl because we fine, we straight, we made it out of 21 to survive. She right. you need to be talking to because she needs that game. She needs a friend like you, a mentor like you. That's why Paula was like, you need to be around her. And that comes to that young lady. I hope she watches the show to know there are people you listen we to and look up to. And trust you. If you was around her, I guarantee you this, you would have gave her that strength that all of us need that helps us to beat the temptation, beat Prayer. Beat because you well, can yeah, tell her. Because look, this is what we look at too. You might think I'm just talking, right? but I swear I'm to just saying, This is what we do as us youth. We look at somebody we can relate to, and we will listen to them over our parents. Well, we yeah. will feel they have our. They 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 know what they're talking about because they've been through it as well. You are a testimony. So a walking process, testimony. We only oh. have you for a little while because we're going to Texas, guys. Okay, before, before I go, I want to give I it up. Jake. I want to yes. give it up to Sis. Stop. Because you can, you, you are the influence. You are the Maya Angelo of this game where you can talk to this. You, you see the mistakes they're making. You might just want to send something on your Instagram 
things yeah, like yeah. that and let them know, hey, you know what? She made a mistake and she's going to pay. That's the number one thing the youth need to realize is when you make a mistake, you have to pay. Right. Yeah. And she's paying for it I with think she media. Knows that now. She realized that. I, I she think she that. realizes that now. And, and the blessing of We need her to realize that she needs you as a good friend. She needs to talk to you because you can be that strength that she needs. My, bro my brother Draws was my strength when I was jumping in the car with the homies, finna go do this lick. If I'd have done that lick, I'd be dead or in jail. There'd be no corrupt. Right. My brother Draws grabbed me by my collar and right. pulled me out the car and said, nigga, what is you doing? Right. Tony, right. Cut, Tony, not, come not get true. this boy. Threw me over there and said, get in there and get on the mic. Right. See, that was that influence. I respect yeah, yeah. him. I listened to him. If I, if I was her, right? if I had what she had, I'd be dead in jail. Her. We want you, the ones you, that are real. Right. Like you, guys. you're real, and I just want to give you your flowers right now. Uh, Jimmy, you. And you're a mother, okay? <laughs> you're a phenomenal you singer, you have a great which, husband. Unfortunately, you're gonna miss because you. she is a phenomenal singer, and I sent her the tracks as well so she can throw a little hook into these gorgeous <laughs> rhymes as we go into our um 9 30 hour. But before oh, we go there. Let's talk to Jamie about writing. So Jamie, just for those of us who don't know, let everyone know how phenomenal a writer you are. Brag <laughs> on yourself for a little bit. Yeah, yeah. I mean, I, I learned a lot, you know, working with uh, Bentley Kyle Evans. You know, he, he's, you know, the, the godfather in this game. He's the, the, the showrunner for Martin. The Jamie Foxx show. I don't know. Some of you guys Even might the have new seen Jamie Fox the show. new the new Jamie Foxx show. Uh, what is it? Dad, dad, dad stop that's embarrassing that's me. You know, so he's a showrunner for that. So I soaked up a lot of game, as you will, corrupt. You know, uh, from 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 uh, Bentley, and I've been writing with him since probably 2014. I started writing before that, but that's where I really kind of learned you know, the, the, uh, the sitcom world, you know, and so it's been fun. And, and, you know, I've written on, I don't know, 20 something shows with him, you know, we, we've developed, you know, a bunch. And then we, we have two or three that, you know, obviously have made it to air with his family time, which has been great to work with Paula. And, and that is up. where, of course, I met you. And right. that's one of the reasons why I wanted you, ooh, ooh, Oh. Uh, sorry, don't no, slide. Okay. I know. He's just trying to get them. I don't right, love you too, Jay. Hey, don't, don't, don't give him a month off. He made a mistake. <laughs> we won't give him a month off. He made a mistake. No, never. He made a mistake. Um, oh, oh, but no, because of uh, family time. Jamie, you were the only one who was not excited about writing evil stuff about me. So <laughs> you, of course, everybody had to write bad stuff about Lori. But Jamie, uh -huh. you, at least your evil stuff wasn't evil. <laughs> Some of them were like, and you've got pimples on your ass. I was like, oh my God. <laughs> right. I was Who's always like, ass? No, just playing. I always want to be fair with the actors, you know? So if I give somebody a good punch up, I want to give everybody a good punch up. So, but you so do it just, with love. And do it with love, and it makes the show better too. And I don't want to hurt nobody. But feelings, I don't know, you know? Jamie. Any time was on air a long time, and yeah. those were some. Yeah. Oh, they, we went to the abyss sometimes with our right. But oh, yeah. you always knew how to, you know, draw the line at being cruel versus being funny, laughing with versus laughing. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, I think that's important. And, and Jason thinks it's important. So, <laughs> but yeah, I think that's important. <laughs> we're very interested in you, and we have another writer, a Latino um, young man named Oscar, who wrote the script for Taco Shop. And we wanted you guys to meet, but I don't see him right here now. But uh, since our boy has to leave soon, I wanted to know hey. if there were any questions that you needed to ask us in writing a script for us. How does how does that work? Um, we're, this is called the forum because we're doing it for the people so that okay. as they see our progress, they also know how it works for if they wanna do it or you know, just living life with us. What do you right. need to know to be able to write 
a great script for other people in mind? Well, well, the first thing is the characters, you know, always making sure you have some great characters to take them on a journey and where are they going to go? You know, what is the story about? What, what are we talking about? Like, what is this first episode going to look like? And then once we get like those questions, <laughs> once we get those questions answered, where, where are the act breaks going to be? You know, what are, where are these going to be those moments where it's like, oh no, what, what's Paula going to do next? You know, oh shoot, right. what happened to Corrupt? We got to stay tuned and make sure we see what happens to him next, you know? Right. So to, to write those moments as well. Um, and then, you know, what network is it going to go on? Do I, do I need to do two or three of those type of moments? So, you know, there's a lot so that goes depending into Depending on the network, um, you write a different type of journey. Yeah, it can. Well, it could just inform like how many act breaks you have. Because some want you to have like two, some might have like three. And it just and the act breaks go where the commercials are at. So that's how you got to know how to like format your script kind of a thing. So when because you're writing for specific people, do you need to know anything about Corrupt and I to be able to speak our voice? Because I would think that it's easier to write and then we as actors adapt to what you've written versus you as a writer trying to the people you're writing for in mind. Well, I think it's a little bit of both of, the, of, of those things, you know. I think that um, if, if, if I know who you are and, and the, the character's voice, it informs me on how to write a specific joke or line or whatever it is, you know what I mean? So the more I know about the character, I think the easier it is. And then you can tailor it to yourself even more once you're like, oh, well, I might not quite say it just like that, but I might say it like this. And then it flows out even better, you know what I mean? Welcome, Oscar Toruno. Yay, so Ooh, yeah, Oscar, right. this is Jamie. Right. Jamie, this is Oscar. Hey, Both how's it going on? you are literally the funniest, kindest writer <laughs> that I know. And, oh, nice. you know, you. I, I know Oscar, we've been trying to figure out how to get back together after Taco Shop. We've, we've had meetings where we locked ourselves in the room like, ah! But, you know, at the end of the day, it's all love. So, Oscar, I know you have Throw Grandma from the Train. Um, let us know. What is it, Throw Grandma? Let us know what's going on in your life and let the people know, because this is forum for them, um, your credits. Oh, well, right now, just uh, working on Breaking Out Grandma, a story about uh, two potheads who, uh, there's a raid in their home, and the only thing illegal yeah. is their grandma. <laughs> so yeah. These two knuckleheads are trying to break out their grandma from an ice detention center. And uh, yeah, no, it's, it's a fun project. And it really uh, I read the yeah. script, guys. It's hilarious from it's beginning to end. And, yeah. you know, I think it's a very... Um, it's, it's smart to tackle serious subjects with comedy. You know, right. you're talking right. about ICE and the fact that hey. so many um, of these government officials just break into our grandma's homes and just carry them off. Yeah. You know, children. And I love the way that you're making it a comedy. Do you want to talk about that? And what led you to use what's going on right now as a yeah, well, well, the weird thing about it is that in Latino and black comedy is like, there is no comedy. You know, the Wayne brothers were the only ones making the funniest shit right. and there's nothing going on right now. I think everybody's right. too scared to make anything funny because they're afraid to um, offend people. And I love that kind of comedy. But the I, thing said, about I love it, you for saying that. I swear to you, I was just thinking that. I was yeah. just thinking that so many of us are so caught up in trying to include the big conglomerates in our art that mm -hmm. we forget art and sell out, you know, to, yeah. you know, white America for all intents and purposes. But people like the Wayans, I thought to myself, never compromised. Mm -hmm. They never compromised their funny, their integrity for the system. Yeah. Yeah, I'm waiting for white chicks too, by the way. Right. Well, <laughs> you know, white chicks came out, a lot of white the, people got there. The blueprint. They yeah. gave us the blueprint that we can do it as well. So yeah. talk about that. Um, how we got Taco Shop 
Yeah, no, I, I'm, I miss yeah. comedy. I, I miss uh, uh, black voices or brown voices making comedy. And that's a problem, I think, because I think uh, you have uh, uh, shows like Family Guy where they have all this uh, black humor done by a white guy, but what we don't have Family, yeah. more families. See, yeah. this is what we love. Why be a baby? See, you guys already have so much in common. Yeah, anybody want to oh. baby oh. sit? Hi, and yeah, who is he? Hi, uh, this baby. is look at his son. What yeah, is his name? Hey, look, there's a playmate right there. Oh, All right. Do you see? Do you All right. see? This is Let's nothing but Jesus. Corrupt. <laughs> <laughs> We've got our showrunners. I think the I only told, I told you I was excited. Uh, you know, the only thing we have left to do is now. Could you guys tell me? Because I know Jamie, he does. If I'm not mistaken, you've done more um, situation comedy, whereas Oscar has written more film. Um, would you conceptualize putting the two together, which would be something like a single camera type situation? Yeah. Yes. Yeah, that could, that could that could work for sure. I think Bentley's ready to do something like that. <laughs> yeah, I'm, I'm down because I know Jamie, uh, yeah, he doesn't have that much time. <laughs> so I'll take 50% of the time, and then he'll take the other 50%. The babies are in the house. Right, that right. is letting us know right now that, you know, we want a family show. So I think it's just, it's so. Before Corrupt leaves, we've got him for a couple minutes. Are there any questions you guys would like to ask us, you know, before we privately really hash out, you know, the basics and the undercurrents? And, um, do you need to know anything? Like, we definitely want you to know Corrupt has 15 kids. <laughs> Oh wow! I didn't know. Got <laughs> <laughs> 15 kids. She said. No wonder you're wearing sunglasses. What's <laughs> up? You're coming in. Right. We got a football team over there. Yeah, man. So he's on the bench. Hey. Did you see your face when she said that? <laughs> He was like, like, I don't know. Like, yeah. I didn't see nobody about the you other should, 15. You should have seen see your face. Your face was the face. I didn't know about the other six. <laughs> I thought those were sleeping. <laughs> I mean, oh. you them all together, it makes it complete. You know, they get take care of you when you get old. <laughs> <laughs> you know, For the purposes of our live and be fruitful. I have one and corrupt. Honestly, has how many kids club? Is it six or seven? Well, you know, I got five of my own, my wife as well. So we got a football team. So how many are together corrupt? I mean, my wife has none together yet. Oh. Right. Going for the Can we just the add yours and hers and then get a number? That's what I said. I said I got five, she got five. So that's 10. I said football. I said yeah. Okay, we, so said, we we working on we working on the bench right now. Working on the bench. We working on the bench right now. Working on the bench right now. So he's got five, and how many baby mamas? Three. I have five baby mamas. Whoa. Now that's y'all. We gonna have so much fun, honey, honey. Y'all should let me get my Martin Lawrence on and I'll be each and every one of them bitches. Honey, I'll right? <laughs> be the stuck up one. Y'all can even put my white girl makeup on like the Wayans and I'll be her too. Oh, I'll be Rosie Therese, I'll be her too, you know. I can be her. Oh, no. No, well, I'm just saying we're going to get one of my baby mamas. One of my baby mamas like it's like Paula's character in Fridays. Oh, oh, oh. Walk up to me and she'd be like, Look, nigga. Boom. Where Boom. my stuff? Boom. Boom. Where my check? Right. <laughs> Where's my check, fool? What check, man? I already sent the money in. The people got your check. <laughs> now, I do not have ideas, but we want something that joins us as a family, right? But but not real. So we're not going to give away too much of our idea. But we like you guys right. to marinate on that 
and just know, you know, when we have our meeting. Oh, and, and Derek is in it too. Because he's looking real life. He's looking real life. I appreciate life. it. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I appreciate so, it. Derek, he didn't he he let the engineer. We have our own. Um, we definitely want to have music involved. So we'll definitely have a home studio. And Derek is the engineer. He's nice. Next. So, you know, we'll come together next week and hash it out more. But it is not time for you guys to go. I'm trying to keep up with you, Corrupt. Are you okay to stay and greet some of uh, your folk that want to rhyme? Because uh, will you talk about your singing for us, Siobhan? Because we've invited everyone back mm -hmm. to rhyme for you, Corrupt, and you're leaving. So I'm feeling like I want them to at least see you before you go. Because you, in all honesty, are the reason why they're um, all I mean, here. I got to do it. So, Siobhan, <laughs> can we send you the um, fails? Come on in. Siobhan, we sent you the tracks. Was there a particular track that you liked more than another? Um. Hold on one second, Bubba. Um, I got to listen to two of the tracks, and I think that because I sing more of like soul, you know, soul pop soul. But I think maybe the first one. Okay, so I'm gonna see if I can play them, and you can hear them. I. I Oh, that was the first one. I think it was that one. The first one. Okay, so she picked D's track. And this I just want to let you know, I wanted the greatest. So you know. You know but <laughs> just so you can hear corrupt, this you know. is the competition. You know what? Now, see, now see, that's another thing to learn. Because if you was mentoring that young lady, she probably could sing some vocals too. See what I'm talking about? I'm talking. About. <laughs> right. Yeah. Write, some, write some script. But see, they just yeah. said, hold on, hold on. Hold but up. that's the beauty Take, of it. Hold on. God brought them both. We need a singer and we need a writer. Hold on. I mean, they, I mean, they, I'm gonna they, say it they, like they, this. Just hold on, hold on, on got it. There's they, only one you. Yeah, and but you Mr. Forrest, Mr. Forrest said, said something so you know. You know what I mean? Uh -oh, He's gonna be the battle of the other producer. You know what I mean? So I, you know, I had to let the other producer know, like last week just was something because I was on the road okay. with Frank. So I'm like, I'm sitting home today. I don't know, I got, to, like my man said, I got time today. You know what oh, I mean? I got time. <laughs> yeah. Would you like I to hear the competition? Here's the, his competition, Corrupt. Yeah, Corrupt, you got to What happened to the beat? Can't hear it. You got to turn it up. Oh, I got to turn it up. That was that's it. what happened with your mix of drums. Hey, that's like, uh, that's like <laughs> hey, 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 that's like uh, that new single Pootie Tang put out. <laughs> and Pootie Tang got a new single. It's called. Booty time. Yeah, that's <laughs> so. Booty time. Okay, you know what? You are a professional. Part of the game and the and the form is for you to give him the game. You know, right. corrupt brings on competition for you, like a little girl and a young brother. Not for you to be acting all fancy <laughs> pants. Not for you to be acting all fancy pants. No, 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 no. That, I act those fancy pants. Oh, you just the way Mr. Huh? Forrest, you, you know. Huh? We just trying to light way. a fire under you so you can represent. You know what I mean? It, you it's just like, it's just just like he elaborated. Like you, you, know you, know you know what I mean? You know what, you know what, hold, hold, hey, hold you know what Derek? Tell him who your brother is, your blood brother. Uh, hold who up. You, I mean, who, who uh, are you? Hold up, That's hold up. Tell him who your brother is, Derek. It's in your blood. He's talking about he right. talking about, he, yeah. right. he's talking all of that smack. So but you better have his, his idea. You better not let nobody get away with a beat to serve you. I don't care yeah. 
you was in the jungle of called, Africa, or if you was in Jamaica smoking with him. That's what I'm talking about. Hey, Jay, that's what I'm talking about. Ever since I've been working with the rap, I've been with him for a long time. Right. And he always tell me, somebody gonna take your spot. Right. And I'm like, hold up. And so, I think you know, that's the point I always, of this. I always had to, you know, come with it. Because I was like, always bro, really? with it. Get it. I think I'm thinking about what you're doing right you now. You want to bring other people in to battle our boy. So I think Corrupt is trying to keep you on your game. So the point is, don't be crushing them and then be mean. Like we're asking Siobhan, right, Siobhan? You know, each one teach one. Right. <laughs> I'm sorry. Right? I know next time. Okay. <laughs> you know what I mean? so, Siobhan, um, I see that one of our rappers is in. I don't see him. Where did he go? Fells, put your camera on so you can um, meet everyone before Correct is off the line. If any of the other uh, rappers are out there, I'd like you to come now because Corrupt is leaving early. Uh, Fells Obama, for some reason, why why is your well go ahead you did say that you thought up something that you might want to think as a hook for leave this town uh, Siobhan oh no no I didn't get a chance to <laughs> and, I, I, and, I, yeah but if you had a you would have chosen um, sorry <laughs> but if you had the, the choice that you made. The first one. Was yeah. Leave this town. So, yeah. Fels Obama, hello, are you there? You're in. Hey. I'd like you to come on in. Hi, Hi. what's going on? Hi, everybody. I got to steal them. We got 50 minutes to be I on the tried, job. I tried to make it happen. We will definitely get with. Me, we're staying. He's going. But Corrupt and I will get with you guys next week, and we're going to really hash this out. Yeah. And we're going to do it hey, you see what I mean? hey, hey, sis, both my sisters, you see what I mean about the people, the company you keep? Because if I didn't have my wife, I wouldn't catch this flight. He stay here because with us, y'all. He would definitely you. stay. You would yeah. never leave. I get to be the good, bad guy all at once. And I would have <laughs> let him. But, you know, it's no point to let him do too much talking about our TV show. So that's why I tried to have him jump into the rap and stuff, but they're not here. And, and I think so when y'all hear it, when y'all hear what the show is, let when Paula me know. When so Paula I can tells y'all what the show is, when Paula I can flip the show yeah. around. Okay. Got to You're accommodate you. Yeah. <laughs> I can't wait. I can't yeah. wait. <laughs> We love you. All right, corrupt. All right. Boom. Bye, love you. Safety. Bye. Love you, baby. Thank love you. Me. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Thank you. Welcome. <laughs> <laughs> okay. The, the oh, baby's waving. The baby's <laughs> there. Bye, guys. <laughs> okay, so now that um our baby's gone, we can get back to you guys telling us about your lives. I suppose there's a way that I can turn him off my, oh, they did it. Thank you so much, Lily. So, all right, Jamie, let's talk. Yes, okay. Talk to me about, did you go to college for writing? For all the people out there who are interested in becoming writers. Um, not that we don't love Siobhan, we do. She's a beautiful, educated woman. Uh, gold medalist, but today we're talking to Jamie Nico and Oscar Toruno, um, two Hollywood writers, for those of you out there who are interested in getting into the writing game. So Jamie, when did you start? Did you go to college for it? Or how did you end up writing professionally? Um, so I, I started acting, writing, and producing all around the same time, which was like 2007, 2008. And uh, I, I ended up going to an acting class and my teacher was like, hey, you know, you should, you should start writing because you won't always be able to get roles for yourself. You know, like you're, you're always auditioning for other roles, but you can write roles for yourself. 
And so I kind of just took that to heart and just started writing scripts. And I think my first script was a was a comedy. I wrote it with a friend of mine who was a stand-up comedian. And then I just kind of continued to write from there. And then, like I said, in um, 2014, 15, I met Bentley and then started writing with Bentley. Now, how did you meet Bentley? Shows. How did that happen? Because that <laughs> uh, so, to me is clearly a cool of a lifetime. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So um, that same friend who who I wrote that first script with, uh, his name is Charles Allen. You know Charles, um, Paula. Um, Charles is good friends with Omar Gooding. And uh, Omar was looking for somebody to come in and do some punch-up writing for him. And so Charles, I used to do like some punch-up writing for Charles for his stand-up. So they brought me in and uh, uh, Omar seemed to really like us. And he was like, yeah, let's, let's keep doing this. And so we just kind of stuck well, around. And basically, he, you started he, punching up scripts. Yeah. So mm -hmm. you didn't have any formal education as to how the, to format. So you started punching up. And through that, right. you learned the formatting of writing for, for um, three camera, because that's basically right. um, what Bentley does over at Harvest Studios, um, Oscar, where Jamie works. Um, he's, you know, basically the king of right now, we know, you know, and that's what, you know, we've got uh, Ricardo, uh, Ricky Ricardo, who is, yeah, Ricardo, Ricardo, yeah, Ricky Ricardo. Is, am I saying that? He, he created it. So we, you know. Oh, yeah, you're talking about I Love Lucy. Yeah, right, yeah. exactly. So right. that's what you've perfected, being able to manipulate that that formatted three camera, which sometimes is four or even five nowadays. Um, right. So Oscar, can you give us your same experience? Because how did you get to start writing films? You, uh, I started, you also, yeah. you're also a professor, aren't you? Yes, I teach a, a film production at Loyola Marymount University. Oh, nice. And I started uh, actually at City College, at Los Angeles City College. I, I wrote a feature film called Fish Out of Water. It was a 35 millimeter film and we went to a bunch of film festivals. And uh, yeah, and I, I wrote for, uh, I, I got my master's at Chapman University in screenwriting nice. and uh and i worked at la tv which was a latino uh english speaking latino station where i did the the homies it was these little two inch figures and we uh animated it and did some voiceovers on it and i did a couple of low budget movies that ended up at walmart later on that's tough do you get yeah. paid i mean yeah it was you weird still get paid. and how yeah, do walmart food. deals work so you great question low budget movies and then <laughs> Walmart bought it as a distributor. But yeah, you know what the weird thing about it is, I wrote it and then I gave it to the guy, and uh, expecting Who's to have uh, uh, his name is Richard Via. He's a comedian, and okay. he had a he had a distribution deal. So uh, I would write it, right? So, so I wrote it. Yeah. Well, wait, wait. I, I wrote it, and then I'm waiting for um, I'm waiting for notes, and then about six months later, I find out that it's already in Walmart and Target and all that. And what happens is they shoot it in like two weeks. And then all of a sudden, it's uh, on a low budget DVD. <laughs> so I did. Right. Like, and so, do you get paid? Do you get residuals? I got, no, I don't get residuals because before it was before I was WGA. But um, but you know, I, it's a learning experience because you don't write something and shoot it right away. Well, let's you need talk about that. You know? I'm glad you brought that up. WGA. So you are. That's our. That's our writers' union, guys. If you didn't know, the Writers Guild of America. Um, it's out here on Fairfax. Um, and are you, so talk about how you got union. Are you union uh, yet, Jamie? No. Okay. Which is, that's okay. It's, I don't, it's okay, Jamie. Go ahead. Talk <laughs> about, cause it is a process, isn't it, Oscar? Like yeah. talk about how you were blessed with that opportunity. Well, actually, luckily it was taco shop that got me into the, to the WGA and, uh, okay. and Jamie. Been, Jamie. yeah. Fuck with me, Jamie. Fuck with me, baby. Damn, you know, that's why I'm here, Paula. That's why I'm here. <laughs> so, we'll okay. so what is the process? Like somebody fancy has to write you a letter, right? Yeah. It's like and then Hogwarts, that. like you're, you're trying to get into <laughs> you know? And, uh, there's a whole bunch of white men that they jump you in. And then... Yeah. <laughs> 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 oh, yeah. Oh, actually, yeah. The production company usually contacts, actually, uh, traditionally contacts the the writers' guild and even all the screen actors' guild when they're doing uh, whatever type of production. 
Uh, so I was lucky that the production company, uh, led by Robert Parada, uh, was, blessing. yeah, he was able to hook it up and, uh, because it, like Jamie, you talk about not being union because right. we love our boy Bentley, but come on, honey, he don't do union y'all. <laughs> I think he just started doing union once we collaborated with the bounce, but you know, in a perfect world, he would, but it's expensive when you're right. an independent filmmaker. So mm -hmm. you do what you can. And, you know, so how does that affect your career not being union as a writer? Oh. Or does uh, it? Because you have an in-house job. Right, right. So real quick, um, going back to people trying to get into the industry, a lot of it is, you know, relationships and, and people who, you know, as, as I said, I had a friend, he got me in. Oscar said he had a friend and he yeah. got him in. And, and so, so you know. And those are both the friends that are producing the projects that we're working on. <laughs> right, right, nice. <laughs> <laughs> so, so there's something to say about, you know, you know, being a good person and, and, and having friends out there. And, and then, you know, also if you, you know, not everybody has friends in the industry. So you, what you can always do is, and, and Bentley has said this plenty of times, do some internships because I think internships well, help. I mean, when I first started working with Bentley, I wasn't getting paid. I was, right. I mean, like Hello. Omar Are you all listening. Omar was paying us out of his pocket, you know, like, out like you guys go. Gas yeah. money. Yes. R right, right. And yeah, there wasn't no big money, uh, but much respect to Omar for helping me to yes. get on. Good man. Get my foot in the Very door. Yeah. Man. Yeah. Smart. So um, but being non-union um right now, I I'm just creating my own project. Well, so I'm let able to me just... be honest with you. I was not union when I booked my first job, nor did I have an agent. I got my first jobs out of Backstage Magazine. You nice. know? And oh, yeah. the agent will come. Mm. You know, as long as you're putting out good work, like Oscar, the rest will right. fall in place. You know, mm. so you're doing just fine. I don't want you to think that you're any less of a talent. It's like people out there, if you ain't got no check, that don't mean you ain't famous just because Twitter say so. Right. <laughs> I no Twitter check, y'all. <laughs> right. But, you know, Instagram say I am. So, man, and Facebook. But anyway, I, I, I digress. That is just my own thing. <laughs> Let me get back to the topic. The point is, you don't need to be union to put out good work. Union will come. True. As True. the agents will come. Are you guys both represented? by agents? I'm sure you are, Oscar. Um, no, kind of. Actually, I, I do have a story. I, 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 we had IPA. Why would I, I assume? Had... Why would I assume? Go ahead, <laughs> tell your story, Oscar. Oh, I had ICM behind me with breaking out grandma and we were, you know, went to their offices. Everything was nice. He said all the right things. It was all cute and lovely. It was all That's cute. Real. And then, uh, yeah. And then after that, nothing happened. <laughs> and then later on, uh, there was a really interesting expose on the LA Times as recently as three weeks about all the bullshit that ICM does where they prop up all this color and they actually don't do anything. And if you have a chance to Google ICM LA Times, it's a wonderful expose on the way they just use uh, color uh, in order for them to look good, but they don't really implement it and push it as far as- mm -hmm. Right, yeah. so sometimes it is better to be with some of the smaller boutique agencies or even just someone like Robert and Bentley who have faith yeah. and believe in you. Yeah. And will help you into doors. Um, because yeah. the reality is nine times out of ten, people are hiring people they enjoy being around. People right. that, that, you know, recommendations, you know, like Ralph, you know, came to me like, give me, give me a writer, you know, who who do you like that you work with? And I gave them, you know, some names. So that's how you grow in this industry. Um, the agent, once again, I didn't have an agent. Like I said, when I got in, I won a Cable Ace Award. ICM, William Morris, and CAA were standing literally at the side of the stage as I walked off the stage with my award. And wow. I went with William Morris because she was the only one who had befriended me. Prior mm. to me winning the award, um, she had our, our mutual friend, Rianne De Silva, a uh, Rianne Silva, Rianne Silva, you know, the creator of the beauty blender, hey, Ri -ri. Rianne Silva. I don't think it's a duh. I added that part. Sorry. <laughs> but yes, we had what been movie? 
Uh, what movie was that for, Bob? I won for Cosmic Slot. Okay. Which was okay. the Hudlin Brothers <laughs> on HBO. Okay. So um, they were standing right there, like for real, like all of them, literally like a movie with contracts, block, wow. block, block, with contracts. And like I said, I went with William Morris and I have to admit, I worked more with the high powered agency mm -hmm. and I got better gigs. That was the upside. The upside was also, I was across board. So one building and I was represented by, you know, audio. So voiceover, I had voiceover and, and because they packaged, they would produce projects and put me in. Downside is what you said, Oscar. Um, there were times when they would, people would ask for me, but because my quote wasn't as high as Gabrielle Union's, they would push Gabrielle, you know, mm -hmm. instead of me. And a lot of times, you know, all the time people would come back and tell me what they had done, but it was unfair to Gabrielle and it was unfair to me. And those are the downsides of being with big agencies because they're not looking at you as a person. They're looking at you as a commodity. And if they can get more money, they will. And someone says, I want Paula J. Parker. They'll be like, eh, she's a crackhead. Who you really want? Like, they'll, oh, wow. they'll just make some shit up. You know what I mean? Right, like, right. to, but they're not going to do it to keep you from getting the job. I just, I was just, I just threw that out there. But they will do what they can to get the money. So it's up to you. But I have to admit, with William Morris, I worked more on higher profile projects. And, you know, but right now I'm with a boutique agency and I'm happy. They know me, they love me. And oh. they get stuff for me. Speaking oh. of that, I, I just want to let you know, I, I just recently saw them and I thought you did an thank amazing you. job thank as you, always. Thank you. Is that love your something work. that you would be interested in writing a project like that? Like, what's your dream project to write, Jamie? What would be your dream project? Uh, you know, like a lot of the stuff that I've written has been stuff about my, like offshoots of my life, you know, so I like writing that stuff. You know, I like uh, adult animation. That's fun. Just something that I can have fun with, you know, like I like to laugh. I feel like laughter is healing and I, and I like making other people laugh. So probably something in the comedy, but I, I do but, have some so really good I'm dramatic stuff. So I'm through the bones and it sounds to me like you're saying you'd like to do adult animation. Like yeah, to yeah, do yeah. like boondocks or yeah, yeah, you know, something like that. What about you, Oscar? What would be your dream project? Uh, something like The Sopranos, something violent, something. Ah, like, nice. awesome. <laughs> mafia! Yes, Latino Mafia! Yeah. Yes! Exactly. Yes, Don Carlos. <laughs> I love it. Okay, whatever. So, it's, we've got five minutes since we lost um, Corrupt. Do you guys, are you guys into hip hop? Of course, yeah, I am. Yeah, like, good answer. Because if you're writing for <laughs> Corrupt, I mean, come on, we've got to be in yeah, yeah. You know, you know, Friday, you have to excuse me. I did, I, I got my second back yesterday. So I am seeing I'm a little runny nosy. So you guys just keep watching, Oprah. I told you I'd get in your bathtub and get you. <laughs> oh, I love you, girl. I love you. No, I ain't nothing wrong with me, y'all, but I am a little. Funny. Um. Anyway, where was I? I was asking you guys. See, I hate. Oh, give up! Give up! Give up! Yeah. So, like, my favorite movies that I've been in, or even other movies, have been movies where music dominates. And Taco Shop, for example. You know, um, Friday, uh, especially. So you guys know that our show is going to include hip hop. And what we're really doing here is getting young hip hop artists seen. Um, kind of the same way that Empire, what Empire did for young artists, we would like to do that for the young, um, you know, hungry, you know, street kids, you know, whereas 
some the ones that just don't have the means to get the break. So we want you guys to definitely go ahead, D. That's why I came up with the me and my mama came up with this website called Talent Hub. Talent okay, Hub. Okay, talk about because you asked Talent, me earlier that you wanted to talk yeah. about. It. Talent Hub is a uh, website hold on, where. Hold on before you get started. Unfortunate, Sorry, uh, unfortunate kids. Like, I, just I just want to say bye. Where are you, you going? Guys. Huh? I, I gotta go put the baby down. You, oh, you're going to bed. Oh, he's mad. Jay. <laughs> hey, bye. Bye. I know. Give me a kiss. Good night. Night. Good night. I love you. Bye, bye baby. Bye. I'll see you later. Bye. I see you later. Bye. I see you later. Okay. <laughs> I see you later. Bye. Bye, bye. Bye bye. bye. Good night, sweetie. Bye. Yeah. I'm sorry. Yeah. Look at look look who gonna come over here. All right, about that. Jealous. Look who oh. think I'm talking to him. I'm not <laughs> talking to you. Nobody. This is my new baby because my 12 year old ain't having it. Um, but yes, go ahead, Derek. Talk to us Tell about. So, Telehub is a website yeah. for unfortunate kids to get looked at by agencies, the sports agents. And there's a website where they sign up at, you know, and is it is free? Nah, you, it, you, you can subscribe. You know what I mean? You can subscribe, and with my coupon, it's free. You know? <laughs> okay, like if, listen like here. The coupon, I said that I wanted some marijuana cigarettes because it just makes sense to me. Like, why wouldn't you be Benson and Hedges? Like. Their family is like legacy, generational money now. You know, the Winston man, Salem family, whoever. Parker Martins. So some brothers sent me some uh, to become a spokesperson for and have my own brand of weed cigarettes. Nice. Now, I'm put into the universe. Y'all need an app that is free, just like Twitter, and friggin' Instagram and all of those where it is a networking kind of thing like Clubhouse. You ain't got to get on the phone and talk all night, but just a networking kind of like LinkedIn where all actors, people wanting to be actors, people wanting to talk about actors. And if it's free, then you blow it up and you get $150 million when Facebook wants to buy it next year. Right. But when you guys, to me, this is just me, I would, I would, I would, I would get on something free that gave me what you're saying. But when people start asking for money in these days and ages, I need my money, you know, and it's just me personally, when there are so many other avenues that are free, but how much is your subscription? It's cheap. It's only th like $30, you know what I mean? That's two meals for me and my baby at McDonald's on a Friday when we hungry or something. We get it. Right. But we don't it do will, that every day. It will help people to enhance their career. Right. You know what I mean? Right, right, right. I get and it. It's that's, the same that's, as my that's girls. The, that's, the bigger, that's, that's the bigger picture. Enhance your career. Go further in life. You know what I mean? Yes. And that's what we want. You know, uh, we want you to go further. I want to enhance my career and the white man's money. Like I, I don't want your money because thirty dollars might be a lot for somebody at home that needs to enhance their career because acting is expensive. You know, it's now that I have a child that I don't spend five G's a month on publicity, hair, uh, two G's a month to get my hair done every other week every week if I've got stuff to do, makeup artist, $500 a beat. You know, I have a child, so I had to learn to do these things myself. But when you're young and in the game, you want a networking place where, you know, you're right, $30 is cheap for that type of um, situation. Investment. But I think free is better. Cause you and, and you just want the right people where you can go on and say, is there anybody out there who needs me to sit for them to do a photo shoot? Um, we can barter. I'll do the photo shoot for you. 
and you do get your makeup for your book and you know everybody wins you have pictures you have makeup for your book and i get pictures as well so you know i love the idea i really do okay so can we let everybody in now <laughs> are you are you happy you want to tell everybody where they can find your new thing yes you go to www.telehub.com and you know and if there's anyone out there who can do what i just said i want something free and we will call <laughs> the forum and it will be an extension of what we're doing right here for free um young people getting an opportunity to perform in front of professionals that can give them the game and give them an opportunity to be seen by um professionals every time someone comes on they get love the following week someone was just telling me um who was telling me was it young dre who was telling me today for us that oh ecor ecor one of our guests just got cast in the latest dolomite oh nice so you know they're doing another dolomite by um the man who wrote dolomite's final book um and his confidant so they're turning that into a film and they oh. asked ecor and i was like ecor I think it's because you came on our show. He was like, I think so too, but whatever it takes. So the point of that right. is, thank you, Jesus. Um, I'm thankful that all you brothers are coming on here and seeing some love, um, seeing it transform into the real world. So we've got guests who are writers themselves. So Oscar and Jamie, being writers, did you guys ever rap? Did you ever write rhymes? Jamie, did you? Yeah, uh, uh, yes, unfortunately. <laughs> Why unfortunately? Because when you, you're in the presence of somebody like corrupt, you're like, uh, I didn't really rap. You know what I mean? Corrupt, no. <laughs> what about you, Oscar? I wrote something. Cry? I wrote some and then my girlfriend read it and she started laughing. I said, fuck it, that's it. <laughs> so, so it's a different medium. So, yeah. Okay, what about you rappers? Have you ever tried your hand at writing a script or a book, poetry, or do you just write rhymes? Because these two gentlemen, Jamie, I don't know if you guys were backstage watching, Jamie is a script writer on sitcoms, and Oscar is a writer, script writer on movies. He's got movies under his belt. Um, you gentlemen have rhymes under your belt. Have you ever thought about writing anything else? I have. You have, Payu? Yeah, for sure. I've actually, what, sweetie? I actually was working on a um, like a web series about my life as a rapper, you know, based on that kind of getting into a, a different lane of rap, but just kind of going through the ups and downs of being an MC, underground MC, and I had a kind of a idea of a web series for that. I so I thought, it. well, I yeah. would say that's in the genes with you, you know, you know. Mm -hmm. That's family, guys. This is Forrest's little cousin. Payu is my husband's, so he's my cousin. All oh, right, sure. anybody else? Hydro, were you saying you you thought you had written, you were gonna write something? Did James? Yeah, yeah, I, I came today, you know, I definitely wrote something to the beats, so I'm, I'm ready today. No, so not the rap. I'm talking about, like, have you ever thought about writing a book or a script? Oh, or yes. As a uh, writer, poetry. As a writer, I, I've started off my first think uh experience with music was with poetry so i was writing poetry when i was a kid so that was how i first started writing rhymes so you did some of those uh deaf poetry jam things uh well it was like what students what, i didn't go as hard as that but i kind of like did it with students i started with a little poetry that was so it. what do you all think about that i went across the street and back down the stairs. Oh, one of my dreams. Is that like rap or is it, you know, do you like respect it? Yes, yeah. I do. Because one of my dreams is like to do uh, soundtracks for movies and films. Um, I'm actually really good at writing for the topic. So if I got like a topic, I can write to it. If it was a sports movie, I would make songs for sports and 
If it was a medieval movie, I would make medieval songs. It depends Let's on whatever go. it is. Yeah. Let's play that hydro, because y'all know the dead poets is not dead poets society. What was the black guys? That's the movie, Dead Poets Society. But there was some poets. Forrest Moore in the 70s that got it all started. Huh? Who? Whoa. I, somebody make a noise every time you say somebody. Fr, fr, fr. What are you saying? The who poets? Black poets. I don't know. If they, they were fly. If you guys are old enough to know. Um, nigga, 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 nigga. You must die, nigga. So those were the roots of uh, rap for all intents and purposes. Bill Scott Heron is given a lot of credit. You know, of course, we got everybody um, in New York. Uh, okay, anyway, so let's get it crunk. Um, let's get it started. Uh, Derek, you are in charge of running this So. Is our boy um who wrote this uh Glock, my boy? Rowdy, Rowdy is here. Rowdy. Rowdy. Hi, Rowdy. Hey, how you doing? I'm fine. How you doing? Okay, that's what I was asking about. All right, so Jason, we we have we have um gotten the the place. So we Ecor has volunteered the situation and now we're bringing in a surprise special guest um host because we're not sure if corrupt is going to be there and if he is who cares we now we got a third person that we can interview as well that is going to also um jamie these brothers are going to come or whomever is coming out here to do a live show in ecor rockman studio i don't know if you guys are familiar with ecor um but he's the son of the partner of Dolomite, who owned the big studio. Don't uh, quit trying to make me say people's names when you know they're famous and stuff, and I don't want to get them wrong. <laughs> but yes, a phenomenal legend that I did have the pleasure of meeting and working in his studio that he owned along with Dolomite. Um, so we're going to perform Ecor's, in Ecor Studio, a live rap battle at the end of this month. Jason, do you want to talk about when you guys are coming out here and who all is planning on coming? We already booked the spot, so you don't uh, that. Um, But to my knowledge, uh, me, uh, Jada Screen, and Paiu will be there Friday. And Rowdy, Rowdy Production. And Rowdy. Rowdy. So it looks to me like a Memphis thing. I don't know if y'all, Fifth, where you at, Fifth? I'm in the Bay Area. Oh, well, you better you, come on now. That ain't nothing but a that but a but a but a, 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 a drive away. No, I'm there. I just found out about it today. I'm I'm there okay, if, I can, if I can figure out the details. You're coming. Sure. And so young Dre, all your folks should come. Now, young Dre is my boy. He ain't rhyming. I don't know why. I think it's because he's an actor. So <laughs> we're gonna have to bring young Dre I on know. our show. I, will um, know. I definitely will. Yo, young PJ. Dre, I, I know you rhyme. Young Dre and I did. Uh, play together that we took to Detroit and I, I must say we were the only ones with good sense in the whole cast I'm just saying I don't know <laughs> it might have been other people I just don't remember them in this moment. I don't know I could be wrong Hilarious. I could be wrong but I don't remember them. oh my daughter I had a daughter she was a cutie pie I liked her so um I liked them all let me stop I it, it, it was a great play. Anyway, okay, Dre, we ain't, because I could give some tea. Dre, we're playing. I, I could spill some tea. Okay, that's what I'm just saying. But so Dre is an actor, Jamie and Oscar, and PJ. we'll find something for him as well. Yes, yes, Dre. PJ, I have uh, Chris that's trying to get in right now. That's oh, the winner. Let me see. It's saying that he's not, he he been declined from the host or something. I am declined. They removed me from the meeting. If I did it, tell him it wasn't on purpose. Tell him to come in again. It was not um, intentional. Right, so, are y'all ready to get this show started? Um, has everyone decided? You guys did get to hear Jamie and Oscar, the two beats that were submitted by Derek. Derek, um, 
Dre brought his crew. We've got Paiu. Uh, what, Dre, who's your crew? Can everybody who's with Dre? Okay. And who I else? Got, I, got Chris, I got Chris that's online. I have uh, Smitty. I think Smitty should be online. And I have Fifth online, too. Fifth is right here. Now, there. you know, Corrupt already asked about young Corey Gatlin <laughs> Dillinger. Uh, got it. He gave him another. I don't know why I keep trying to call him Dillinger. Young Corey Gatlin. Huh? He's trying to get on right now. Yeah, so, oh, Chris, that's Corey. I don't see him. He's trying Ask to get him on. Ask call again, because Corrupt has already asked about him. Corrupt is like, he already said that. He's going to join his meeting because you were previously removed by the host. Huh? I, he, who got an attitude? I, I told y'all I didn't previously remove anybody on purpose. Mm -hmm. I'm <laughs> like, I was previously removed by the host. Look at here. I am sorry. It was not on purpose. I am on your side. <laughs> Please try again. I don't know what the hell is going on. I don't see anybody. Oh, here go the participants down here. Let's let's check over here, guys. Dead Poets Society. No, Black Poets. They need my, uh, they need, like, my email or something? I don't know what's going on here. Tell him. Cliff Rockmore um, is another name. Invite. I'm looking. I don't see anybody. Okay, Chris. Try you hear me? again. I'm, and I'm here, too. Okay. So, Derek, I'm going to mute myself, and you handle this next part. Thank you. Good. What's up, everybody? What's going on? Nine, nine, nine. We ready to get get a, get a crack at it that, you know. So I guess they, they submitted two records, one from me and one from the other producer. Who's the other producer? The name Rowdy. Rowdy Production. Rowdy. 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 <laughs> okay, okay. You know. So whoever want to go That's first, right, take Rowdy. it on. Like you know. Rowdy looking like. Take, Pick, pick the record. Let me know who want to go first. Uh, I'll go. I mean, I've been here for a while, so I don't mind going. All right, yeah. talk to him. What record right. you pick? I, I picked the I picked the Glock joint. I picked Rowdy joint. Uh, and I guess we ready whenever y'all ready. We are. I'm I'm fresh off the stage too. I just left the show, so we in the car, like literally in the car. So uh, we just don't get into it. Working all the time. Let's go. Yeah. Y'all hear me? All right. Here we go. Yeah. This ain't new shit to me. See, I been off. Piss off the top rope on amateurs. Damage them, then I get off. Any beat that you can scramble up, I beat the shit out. The kitchen hot. If you can't handle it, you need to get out. The game what I run for. You know what I come for. Feel like I'm disabled because I'm deaf with a dumb flow. Opposites of track. Got old game, but I'm a young pro. I'm an animal. You don't hear me going gonzo? Used to sing. Now I wonder what I hit them notes for. Mama want to know what the Lord give me my lungs for. I tell her I don't know. I just know this world cut so cold war out in the world. I rock a trench coat. Take no prisoners. Make no mistakes. Listen up. I can get with the best of them that's done get it. Stressing my opposition, molesting my composition. I kill without a conscience. That's just another decision. Look, all I know is G-O. My M-O, get dough. I make hit songs. When my shit on, they get low like the limbo or 6-4 on them switches. Down here in them trenches where I come from, we go dumb. Freestyle is just vicious. My flow simply. Ignorant, steady cooking dope, crumbs the bricks. My mixtape like I ate the cream. That's still straight because I made it free. Careful with these bars. Can't take them all at one time. My CD like an OD because I'm going to kill your ass with these punchlines. Crunch time. Nestle. Fuck niggas can't stand next to me. I mean, I was dope before the Miley's in the SEC when it was just the weed. That's how long I've been sold off. Rose was still off the Ross. Bow Wow was still shot. Mouse for Wayne Star. Now, 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 wake up. Stand up. Stop bitching and man up. I'm on the loose. I got all the juice, and these dry rappers can't stand us. Then I 
feel this outlandish. Is the radio lower this standards? And I'm so sick of the bullshit. I got a full clip for you bastards. All right. Yeah. That's my, that's my, that's okay, my Jack. Bars. There you Bars. Bars for Dave. And he came to play. Yeah, he did. Corrupt would be, would be proud. You came to win. Who want to go next? I can go. Well, I go. Okay, uh -huh. okay. Who, who said that? Throw. Throw. All right, go ahead, drop. Go. What beat did you pick, big homie? I picked that same beat he used. All right. Do you think? Uh, ghetto gold, paper roll, some laws don't hold. Steady screaming, stop snitching to the rats that told. I go medieval with the eagle, wave the ratty at people. Heard the drum get played, saw it splattering people. From the block, with a fiend, turned tricks for a hit. Same block, young boys getting popped like zits. Real shit, not the smelly shit you push out your backside. That peanut butter jelly, peppermint on the snap side. Jimmy Choo, drop a couple thou on a handbag. Even got his puppy walking around with a red flag. I get coronavirus chill when I walk to the city. Everybody got a mask they stuck with. Mean leprechaun for the green, try your luck with. Rich nose candy, presidential, bought Trump with. Bars of that Jenny and Forrest got gump with. You could catch an ox to your belly one rump with me. Cherry red, dark side, blood stained, best bread. Really seen five come alive like the undead. Fire baby, hit your haters, the high and Fire monsters, piranhas, barracudas, ghosts in the darkness. Hardly see my shooter, pull hit up, darkness. In the Uber, really living in heartless. Maneuver, cut him big, ah, uh, bust 50, hit him up with the sharpest. Never on the top of the blade and belt buckle was Ferragamo. Showtime, not like Apollo, was Sleepy Hollow. Grimy, weak niggas still in borrow. A cold blooded story, nothing but pain and sorrow. I beg your pardon, cultivate botanic gardens. A couple millies on every harvest. Like Eddie Monster. Off the top, baby. I like that choice. You know, I liked that. I like the hesitation. I like that I was waiting for the next, I had to wait for the next words. And you were hitting some lovely, you know, metaphors and um, similes. I like that, Hydro. Why you know? Yeah, I, I like I that, man. I'm to give y'all something different and then switch it up. For sure, and, for sure. You know, I had given a lot of the guys bad suggestions. You know, I just know I'm a girl. I know what I like. I like <laughs> hooks. But, you know, I think the game is going in a different direction right now with bars. You know, just people spitting straight up bars, no hooks. And I want hooks. Okay. okay. Who but next? I enjoy Who the next? bars. Don't get me wrong. Right. I get it. Because this show is about the craft and corrupt has already stated y'all fighting for craft and that was great hydro because last week you brought in the hook so this week we brought in the yeah this week it was a freestyle so a little something different and i only had about 40 minutes to get started today's my birthday everybody happy, happy birthday, birthday. Yeah, so what I'm is today? Up a little bit. A little oh cancer up a little man bit too. all right July cancer 10, man a cancer baby definitely a cancer baby so thank you for the opportunity again. Jamie, um, Oscar, anything you guys want to say about each guy? Or you want to wait till the end? What you thinking? I like, I like both of them. <laughs> I thought they both had some fire. Uh, I like uh, the first guy. He's, he had like that down south feel. Um, one of my favorite groups is Outkast. So I kind of, you know, I like that down south. But then I like the East Coast flow too. So you know, my other favorite group is Wu Tang. So you know, right. I like I like it all. And those know, are I great they comparisons. And mm -hmm. Hydra, where are you from? Did, where what part of the world did you tell us again? I'm definitely from the East Coast. I'm from Connecticut. That's I talked to said Connecticut. 40. You and Corey, right, Chris, young Chris. Oh, he's Wisconsin. Okay. 
So yeah, you're right. Um, Oscar, what did you think about the two gentlemen? Yeah, I know, I was digging both of them. And uh, I love the way Hydro knows that he wanted to go in it differently and do something different. And uh, it definitely got my attention. That's good. Okay, let's keep it moving. Go ahead, um, uh, D. So, Pai, you you're next? Yeah, I got next, bro. All right. And actually, beat pick. actually, it's crazy. I got something to both of them. <laughs> I don't know if I can do both, but I... I'll do the Glock one first, though. If you if y'all allow me to do both, I'll do both. But your cousin just... said, "Pick one." It, oh, here you go. Family, you know, you know, Jesus said, "Family can't go home." Uh huh. All right. Mm. All right. I'm gonna do this. Uh, I'm gonna do this Glock joint then. All right. Try not to show favoritisms. For sure. I can. I can. I can fuck with that. Can y'all hear me good? Hey, the beat. Hear me? Yeah. Yes. Sir. Yeah. Yes. Uh. Here we go. Now all this time that I've been grinding made my life go by in a blur. And if you say that pie you about it be, then I can say I concur. Call me cocky, overrated, arrogant, or what you prefer. But I'm neither. I'm just confident and this much I can assure. Now my daughter's out here pimping me. I'm stacking cheese like it ain't funny. Bros treat me like questioning. They just dance around me like Mitt Romney. All this paper chasing. Got my family thinking that I chase in. World at my disposal with a pocket full of free basins. Too grown to be playing games. Got family things that I'm faced with. What I need with them two chains, I got two pistols of Jason. I'm racing that checker flag, this clear finish, no photo. I catch these rappers sneak this, then pick them off like they Romo. These busters way too scary, even worth it, acting like fairy. Got my shoulders feeling heavy from this world's weight that I carry. So best believe that I want it all and I take it all like ransom. Feeling like I'm bigger and get money, still the answer, bitch. Yeah, I don't do the six chains, bro. I said, I didn't even see because I was seeing once again like nepotism up in here. Jamie, what you thinking? Bars, like I was, I felt a little bit of Texas. I felt, man, I was like, God, I just love the flow. I love the cadence. He was on top of the beat, man. Hey, David, absolutely. My Appreciate favorite so far. Me. My favorite so far. Y'all okay. are great. So, no diss to nobody, but these are my favorite so far. Awesome. Yeah. I love edgy and angry. I love that. <laughs> so give it to me. So, uh, Hip hop's not that angry anymore. I mean, I like. Let me give you a little uh, information. I know some of Jay don't like me talking before he rap, but I'm throw in real quick that Paiu is the winner of TV One's first annual rap battle. So, oh, writing contest. I don't. Uh, you know, yeah. It was a writing contest. Yeah, song a writing contest. contest. Writing what? Why you raps? Well, th there was a song. There was a song called that we did called Click Clack. Uh, song did a special uh, edition called Music of the Movement with uh, Radio <laughs> One, and they picked the song that we had. Uh, this song we wrote called Click Clack for the TV show, and they premiered it on the TV show on what episode two. What a phenomenal um, thing for TV One to do! Give open up, you know, because a lot of young writers are looking for films and television shows to express their work. That that was a great opportunity. Congratulations. I'm glad you brought that. Where is Paiu from? Where are you from? Where Where are you from, from Mem Paiu? Memphis, Tennessee. Memphis, Tennessee. OK, OK. okay. I, I was feeling like big crit. Like, I was like, oh, I'm, I like that. That's dope. <laughs> yeah, I'm a southern like bro. It. I, I OK, D. All right. Who up next? I can go. What's up, Phil? What's going on? All right. Well, um, what beat you picking? Let's let's get it. It's uh, let me see. It's that leave this town. All right. Got that one. I guess I guess I guess I'm the first. Am I the first one on that one? Yes, sir. Okay. All right. So let me get it. Uh, hopefully the volume is good. You guys, let me know. Can you hear it? It's good. Turn it up. Good, bro. All right. Yeah. It's fifth. Bay Area representing stand up. Yeah. Yo, 
Yo, realest in my region coming straight up out the bay. Shout out to homie Dre. You know, I'm just a call away. Rappers making up these stories, fabricating all the way. I'm like, you ain't got to lie, man. That's word to Paula J. The flow is on point. They be trying to find the flaws. Speaking through these bars, feel like I'm behind the walls. They say my mind corrupted because I grew up on corrupt. Listening to ride with us, but used to have to ride the bus. Hella broke. That's the realest shit I ever spoke. Now I'm so high up, they barely see me with a telescope. Had to roll the dice. Shit don't happen overnight. Yeah, I'm coming from the gutter. Still, I'm trying to bowl a strike, swinging for the fences, no base hit. See what I was faced with, coming from the bottom like the motherfucking basement. But I ain't never ran from no struggle, I embraced it. Made it through the maze, and now they all in amazement. Fly it in the spaceship. I'm wide awake while they sleeping like the grave shift. And shout to Glenn Plummer, he from Richmond, California. Now they threw me in the mix, so yeah, we really on some base shit. I'm a warrior out there, Golden State. On my Nipsey shit, I hustle and I motivate. And I told them I'm the golden, and it ain't no debate. They say I'm burning bridges, spitting fire by that golden gate. Look, all gas, no brakes. I'm checking for a check, and yo, that bag's all I chase. Run it up, then drop that bag off and chase. I'm laughing to the bank and got a stash in my safe. It's fifth. Yo! That was love. Hey. Not like, you know, <laughs> of course, ego is like, Oh, you put my name in it, but <laughs> put all of our names in it, you know. And just so you guys know, Glenn Plummer, um, we worked together uh, yesterday, and maybe he's too tired, but you know, I don't have nothing against nobody because he'll be on here. All good. Shout him out anyway. I, you but know. that was my point, so I don't yeah. want you all to think I could have just left it be and just <laughs> let people think that. But I wanted you all to know that, um, yes, Glenn. Was well, supposed to come on. That's my and heart. that's words of Paula it's, J. It's, it's love. Oh, I'm on. Um, and then <laughs> hi, honey. I know I got you on. I finally saw your 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 request. Oh, my bro. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, Appreciate so that. yeah, I love that you thought enough to add the three of us. Corrupt would love that too. And you you did some research. And I like. Um, I also like uh, these. These track, I like the um pimp of it. Yeah. It's very like I don't know Oakland pimp. Like it just reminds me of somebody in a six four, just bright and low with you know just bitches. I don't know. I like <laughs> so uh, that was Jamie, my inspiration. That's what I was thinking. Right. And 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 you really, I think you nailed the vibe of the track, and that's yeah. important when you're working with different tracks, different producers, especially young in your careers, like as 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 great as all of you are, you're still for all intents and purposes young in your careers. I'm young in my career. So yeah, um Jamie, what do you think? Yeah, yeah, I really liked it. You know, I love that he shout out OG Bobby Johnson, you know, uh, and, and Paula and Corrupt, that was dope. I'm from Sacramento, so I love that that Bay okay. Area flow. So I really appreciate that. But uh, yeah, man, all you guys are talented. Keep doing what you're doing. Oscar? Yeah, no, I love Fifth, man. He actually uh, very charismatic. Very Yes, uh, I agree. Uh, great look. Thank you. You know, great flow. I like that he went <coughs> with um, Leave This Town because it's a different vibe of a song. Hey, um, everybody. Not to be rude, but it's my birthday. I'm about to take off, man. I love you guys. Thank you for having oh, me. Oh, Hydro. Uh, you know, we're doing a live concert. And where are you? You're far away, aren't you? I'm I'm in Connecticut. That's, you can't get in a car and drive out here. Yeah, Jersey. Yeah, that, that that's not going to happen. But uh, at least you can, I can fly. In. Well, I can fly. you're more invited to do right. that. Just that. If you know, don't get don't don't threaten me with no good time as you know, mm -hmm. honey. I I would be so thankful if you, Corey, Corey, I don't know if you know, corrupt and already put you on one of his Yeah, songs. he 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 you don't even have to rap. He already said you You're you're already on the rap. You don't even have to rap today. out here. So yeah. everybody else, we're getting on live. And when you're out here, I'm putting y'all all on one of Derek's tracks. We're going to the studio. We're going to lay something down because I think you all deserve the shot. Um, but, hey, I can't I can't pick it. I Who uh, corrupt 
picked who he wanted. And uh, right. so far, it's Corey, Ooh. but all of you are going to get on a track. And Corrupt said he's going to rhyme on it as well. And PJ, I need PJ, I need Corey and Fifth to be on the track together. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Fifth just killed that. We are. We're gonna make that happen. And right, I want Hydro. I, I don't. I think Pi, you just killed it. I think Jay killed it. You know. See, I don't I know even Hydro. Heard Jason. I'm about for my when, people. I know. Yeah, Hydro. <laughs> hydro, gonna, hydro gonna vouch for Hydro though. But Hydro, you was dope yeah. too though. You was dope. <laughs> I like I like the other homies, so I'm real like that. I love that's what show. I'm talking about. Yeah, dope. you was dope. But well, that's how I should get the same love back in return. If from the love works team. So what we believe is love works through everything. So no matter what, we ain't in competition. That's dope. We all put it, put well, it we're going together. to so, and we gotta get we gotta get because you just mentioned love works. I know exactly who you belong to, my honey, my brother. Uh, medicine works. So right, right. we got to get Maz to get you out here because I want you to perform uh, Smoking on Aretha and right, yeah, I've definitely got to whatever the, the, the stuff Corrupt was talking about in your song. Right, so, yeah, no, like, that stuff. Yeah. And Keisha. So First we want you to perform that live. So if we all got to put in some money to get you and Fells out here, then that's legit. Yeah, let's make it happen. I'm let's with it. It's it my happen. birthday. That's good news. Let's okay, go. so you go have a blessed birthday, and we'll get you out here to perform um, Aretha. What do you call it? Aretha? Aretha. That's that's, I call it Aretha. You do, too? Yeah, I do, too. Yay, Aretha. I want to put a picture, I want to put a picture of her the up queen. there. Gotta I pay, love it. See, you know what see I mean? Hydro, so, me and you right here. You a spiritual brother. Gotta, I love you. Yeah, let's get to it. Let's get to it. I'll be out there as soon as you guys hit us up and say, get here. We'll fly out. We'll, well we hitting you up and saying, get here. So fly your ass out here. And I'll talk to your, <laughs> your mentor, and we'll make that happen. Um, All right. Thank you for coming. Have a blessed birthday. Happy and birthday. Um, let's thank keep moving. You, thank you again, everybody. Love. Peace. We'll see you in a minute. Happy birthday, fam. So, so. Um, who wants to go next? We got two more waiting. We got the champion and we got Jason. So, uh, champ, you can decide if you want to go next or would like to go last. I'll go next. I'll do it. It's cool. Let's do okay, it. Okay, Jay, you, you get a, you get a break. <laughs> let's, Boom, go. Right, let's do it. Let's do it. Let's do it. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, I say all facts, I'ma give you all that. These other niggas baseball hats, they been all cap. Yeah, I'm about that bag if you ain't fall back. The pod is coming back to back, it's more than Venmo apps. Shit, I'm born and raised on that six off cap. Mama, I don't feel good, I think I'm sick off rap. She said, nigga, don't stop until you get more plaques. I said, mama, I'm just rapping, trying to shit on these tracks. That shake on the track. Matter of fact, it might just be on the back. I'm growing the crack. I spit the fucking booth that collapse with that no hold back in the KK that the K can't clap. So watch me applaud, got sticks long as baseball bats. Uh. So tell me where that baseball at. I'm in Milwaukee. AMG Black, Bruce Wayne, no back. My niggas like he back on track like trains on the track. And I did this shit without a contract and without a contact. Court. Yeah. The contracts are coming. What's up? Uh, Oscar, aren't they? We've already. My dog. Yeah, 62 and label, I put that shit on the map. I'm in my groove, I keep it moving like I got shit to pack. I came from the struggle of comments, that shit never come back. Motherfuckers tried to hold me down, you know it's limit them flat. You know this try me home, you know these women know that. Soon as a nigga start to rap, and they go bounce like some Jackson. Got to put that shit on wax, it ain't no fucking relax. I was married to the game, I had another bitch, but she left. Let me calm down, Whew. and get a hold of myself. I'd rather not chase a woman and go after this wealth than pull up black SUVs, niggas moving in stealth. All you hear is now it's playing, they hate me now, how I feel, well, shit. Maybe that's how I feel. I've been on it for 10 years, finally close to a mill. I've been in the number of doing shit in the studio, still in the kill, catching deals, and still living like Hollywood Hills, of course. Whew, I'll fuck that last part up. Don't yeah, tell what? us. We didn't know. Oh, okay, y'all didn't know, y'all didn't know. Oh, no, we don't yeah. know, baby. We don't yeah. know until you tell us. You, we we thought you meant to do that. Uh 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 uh. Like the little pop 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 Yeah, honey, you are everything. Corrupt okay. is hoping um for you to be. I think you're his little bow wow. 
I hope you take that in <laughs> the, the best way. Yeah. I appreciate it. Hey, tell him I'm going to go with Peter, that name, too. Peter gave you his last name, too, honey. Hey, I respect you, that. I'm running with that you shit, You are too. now young Corey uh, Gatlin. Got it. <laughs> <laughs> yes, sir. Yo, Corey Gatlin, I'm running with that shit, too, for real. <laughs> well, the Gotti, we, we can talk about I just, I just got crowned Gotti as well, so... We mm -hmm. fam now, guys, all of us. I think, Jamie, you got it too now, right? I did, and, yeah. And, and Oscar. So we're all got it now, y'all. We all belong to got it. You too, Jay. Don't be looking all crazy in the face. We know you was the winner until the... Corey. But you still the winner to me. <laughs> oh, it's somebody else. You looking real sad over there too, Jason. Come on, Jason. Go ahead. You next. Uh, we chilling. We, we having a blast. I, good. I love you so much. You're not a hater like some people, Derek. You're not a hater because, you know, some people like Derek be trying to hate on people because uh, when they need a little encouragement because they may be younger and less experienced. Why, why are you going to try to put me out there like that? I'm just saying. <laughs> Rowdy, what I do? I I'm just do saying nothing. Rowdy could use some, you know, compliments. Nah, he do. He, he super dope. So hey, you we come in and y'all can collaborate. Because yeah, I think, I, I'm playing. I think all of y'all on one track is some old Wu-Tang love. Um, Jamie, what do you think about Corrupt's um, <coughs> uh, new Netflix? Nice. I, I thought he was nice. I felt like I was in a music video watching him. I was like, like okay, I said, you was right. watching me like mimic it out, right? Yeah, you you See? the back of that. I'm gonna play your mother in the in the video where you was like, my mother be like, I'm be like, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, like Biggie's mommy did. Right. But shout out to Biggie and his mommy. Okay, Oscar, what did you think? I knew when I saw all those instruments, uh, we were into something special, man. Uh, he's a very special voice. He's a very distinctive voice. And Thanks. also, you know, that's something that Forrest brought up about last week. His sound quality, because he's in a studio, he, you know, the sound quality helps a million times. Um, his vo his vocals pop, the music pops, and, and it just sounds complete. Mm. And his energy. Appreciate that. Thank you. God bless. I think appreciate um, that. Uh, we got one more. Jason hasn't gone yet, Forrest. You have to be patient. Hater, are you ready? Uh, yeah, I just get out of the road. Really, Jason, no excuses. You know, Jay is on the road. He didn't just get off. He's currently in the car on the now, road. Jay, Jay uh, only 20 minutes from his house. I just came from Virginia, and I, I, I'm in Nashville now, so I've been on the road all day, and uh, I ain't got nothing. Once again, you got nothing. You got more excuses than a brother going off the death row. Like the real I got a, uh, I got I got a plane ticket and I'll be in LA on Friday. And then you got all you're gonna have to say, you're gonna be rested and you're gonna be LA ready. on Friday, baby. Shut it down. All right, Chris. Uh young Corey Gatlin. I think um that was a uh call out to you that you know he's gonna be out here you know we're doing a live concert you're on this coast all right where are you you gotta un unmute yourself baby well, my, my fault yeah i'm in la yes what's up okay so you just got called out by the hater so we're gonna do our live show and what? we're just gonna make it happen we're gonna we all it. put it we doing a live show what oh, ecor <laughs> ecor studio remember ecor Oh, you missed that show. Yeah. It's the 16th, right? Yeah. I don't know, dude. No, yeah, Ecor. I'm gonna so call Ecor. You, you, you. I mean, you, you'll be there. I I'm got. I'm, I'm. I ain't worried about y'all Negroes, cause I got my double back. So y'all yeah. do what y'all want. Y'all can take some contacts, some vitamin D's. Do what you <laughs> need to do. But I will be there. And I will be rooting you on and be ready to get in the studio, right, D? D. I just got no, yeah, I, I'm, I'm ready. I just got to know all the details. I, I know what to do. Who? 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 Who
who won the beat battle, D? My man. My man won, I, th I think. Okay. Well, we have Jamie. Who won the beat battle? Mm, um, the beat battle out of the two beats that you sent me? Oh, no, not the beat battle. I mean the rap battle. Oh, the rap oh, battle? Okay, the beat battle. How many people went with Glock? Can you raise your hand if you went with Glock? Oh, How many people went with Leave This Town? One. What did Christopher do? Two. And it was, it was three Siobhan. three. It was three and three. What about Siobhan? Siobhan broke the tie because she she chose Leave This Town. So mm. uh you won D. Who won Jamie? Um the rappers. Uh my favorite, uh, and again, everybody was dope. So please don't no disrespect to nobody. Y'all were amazing. I like Paiyu. I, I thought he just I love the I think, cadence, the flow. And Paiyu, you will be coming through um with uh your cousin Jason. Okay, good. I like Oscar. my man Fit. I like Fit. Okay. Yeah, Fit, hey, much love, you'll be it's, he's Thanks. just a drive away. He'll be coming through for the live show as well. Um, what about you, Oscar? Uh, I love uh, uh, I love Christopher. Christopher was pretty bad badass. All right, so he he loves our adopted son. <laughs> <laughs> he was great. So Oscar, Jamie, <laughs> we're going to get on the horn next week, and you know, guys, we're doing it for who? For them? For you, for you guys? And Jamie, Oscar, and I are going to create a show that you will enjoy for all of these brothers to be able to get their shot on television as well on, you know, on TV, TV, not this kind of TV, but uh, the whole nine. Okay, we're over budget as far as the clock is, is, is ticking, but we love you. Everybody smile pretty. We'll see you next week. You. I'll talk to you brothers next week too. Peace. <laughs>